So I'm down about five pounds. That's, that's like five pounds in, in three weeks, pretty much, which is kind of amazing. Even though, despite the fact that most of that time I was on a half a pound a week plan. So I am dialed back up to a pound a week now. And I've lost about two pounds in the past two days. So that's obviously not fat. I've just now lost in two days. That was water weight that finally sloughed off. I'm about to go do my leg workout now. Later today, I'll do my video. And today, I think I'm going to talk about my t total daily calorie burn, which uh, is what helps determine what your budget for the day is going to be that Lose It calculates for you. So Lose It does have it. It's it's in their stats on the app. You can see what your your average daily burn is over different spans of time. And it's it's really handy. So I'm going to I'm going to be diving into that today. But first, I got to work out. So two of the reasons I bought the Apple Watch in the first place. Number one, I knew that using Lose It worked. I knew that calorie tracking works, meal logging works maintaining a caloric deficit works. But number two, I didn't know for sure how many calories I was burning in a day, whether I was exercising or not. You do have those calculators online where you can plug in your age and your gender and your height and your weight and get a ballpark estimate. But I, I knew from my own experience that that just didn't really seem to be entirely accurate. So the cool thing is when you're using Lucid in conjunction with the Apple Watch, you can get a lot closer. It's not going to be entirely accurate, but it's about, probably about as close as we're going to be able to get. So I'm, I've got Lose It loaded onto my little iPhone SE, which I just use as uh, an iPod now. Go to your home screen, swipe to the to the left a couple of times, and you get to this screen uh, where it shows you how many bonus calories I've earned. So if you tap here on the middle in this circle, it takes you to this screen. This is this is the average my average daily burn over the entire time that I've been using Lose It without a watch. 2,861 calories a day on average. But if I take it to like the past week, it's roughly 3,000. Past month is roughly 3,000. Past three months is roughly 3,000. But so just generally, it just seems like maybe maybe in a couple more months, this estimation will be a little bit more accurate. But for now, it seems like this is probably more accurate because I, I just don't, my days are not all the same. I have some days are really active and some days are not. Some days I'm playing a gig with a band, really, really active. Other days I'm maybe just at home working on stuff on my laptop, not so active. So if you go to the goals page and click on change, you can see here, is right now I'm set to somewhat active, which for me means that my target burn is 2,673 calories. You can see down here. But if I move it up to very active, what's that number is gonna change or highly active. Now I can burn 2949. It's a little closer to the average I have, but I'm just not confident enough that uh, I'm going to to hit that number every single day. Because there, if I'm have a day where I'm just really kind of not moving around very much, it's not gonna. I'm not gonna get to 29, 2900 calories. So that's why I, t I prefer to keep it at somewhat active. But the good news is that's that's what lose its bonus calorie uh, feature is for. It helps you fine tune your activity on an hourly basis throughout the day. So you don't have to worry about this. I mean, once, once you've got your activity level set, lose it will help you fine tune it every day. It's not set in stone. I like that. Some people get really nervous about that. For me, it's really worked as long as I stick with it and don't get too cavalier about going over my budget all the time. Uh, I think that this is really going to be my long-term solution. The whole reason I wanted to get this thing is so I would have a much better idea of how active I was from day to day. Cause my, again, my activity levels are not the same from day to day. And most people's activity levels are not the same from day to day, unless you have a really physical job where you're on your feet all day long, or a very physically demanding job. And my, my job as a, as a musician is physically, physically demanding, but we don't play gigs seven days a week. You know, there's a lot of other things that go into to making this business a reality. Quite a bit of that involves, you know, sitting down on a laptop and doing that kind of work. So that's, there's, there's, <laughs> I'm going to have to quote Sting. His thing has that song, um, if you love somebody, set them free. If you love yourself, set yourself free. <laughs> you know, I don't want to feel like I'm in a prison with my, my daily budget uh, or my, with the ch types of foods I, I prefer to eat. You know, that's why I'm never going to say I'm never going to eat chips again or I'm never going to eat Ben and Jerry's again or any, anything like that. Oh, I can never have sugar. I can never have a beer. You know, that's not going to last because I, I find that the more I feel like I'm, I'm trapping myself, the least chance I have of making, making it last. 
And this is not about a diet. It's not about, you know, some kind of fitness challenge. I'm trying to see how much weight I can lose in the shortest amount of time. No, this is about establishing a permanent lifestyle change that I can be comfortable with and just can, you know, form good habits and keep those good habits in check. That is the beauty that using Lose It provides, you know, it's, it's the power of knowledge. The, the technology that we have is amazing and we should take advantage of it. It's a beautiful tool. So anyway, I've talked a little bit about bonus calories in, in last week's video, last Friday. So I'm going to put a link to that here. It's going to be, it's going to be here or there. <laughs> That's all my brain has the capacity to articulate at the moment. So I will see you on Wednesday. So one of the reasons I bought, <laughs> hey.